put it in perspective too for the Bay Area of what it would be like to hit here too, just back to back. Hey, it's it's awful. You know, you think about the comparison, 15 mile difference between where Ada made landfall and where Iota made landfall. It would be the same as comparing where if it were to make a storm were to make landfall in Clearwater Beach, and then two weeks later we have a Category 4 hurricane making landfall in St. Pete Beach. So it's it's absolutely catastrophic. Uh, weakening quickly over Nicaragua this morning, but again, made landfall late last night, around 1045, uh, as a Cat 4 hurricane with wind speeds of 155 miles per hour. A Category 5 hurricane, not that it makes much of a difference in terms of the damage that they would see, but a Cat 5 is 157 miles per hour, so just shy of a Category 5 hurricane. Right there uh, in Hallover, Nicaragua, just 15 miles south of where Ada made landfall also as a category four hurricane just two weeks ago. So yeah, I just, I just can't imagine the catastrophe and, and, and just how those people are, are dealing with this storm. So thoughts and prayers, no doubt, uh, for the folks, not just through Nicaragua, but through Central America as well as the storm continues to move inland, weakening quickly, uh, becoming a remnant low by tomorrow afternoon with wind speeds down to 25 miles per hour. Meanwhile, uh, another area just in the wake of Iota has a 40% chance of developing into a tropical depression later on this week. Uh, low pressure system hasn't formed yet, so we have to wait for that first, and then we'll see how things develop for the second half of the week. But here we stand, the middle of November, 30 named storms so far uh, this season, with the strongest coming in mid-November with Category 5 Hurricane Iota. So the 2020 hurricane season is already the most active on record and now with two major category four hurricanes making landfall on essentially the same location in Central America this late in the season. The question is pretty clear. Is climate change impacting the frequency and strength of tropical systems? We answered this